Hello friends, welcome to Insight Learners. So in this video we shall discuss the BNY Mellon test assessment questions. So in previous video I have uploaded the live test like uh, the registration like it has been already closed and like the live test has been started from 11 December 2023. Uh, so like uh, these are the few test questions which were asked. So the test pattern is like the number of questions were 3 and the duration of the test it is for 2 hours 30 minutes. So there were 3 programming questions. So the first programming question like you can code in any of the programming language you prefer. It can be C, C++, Java, Python, anything. But you need to solve like the complete uh, already half of the code will be given. So you need to just um, write your own method and logic and you need to clear all the test cases. So you need to at least uh, to get offers from good company or like uh, you need to be shortlisted from companies right so for that at least you need to solve the two complete like the two programming questions completely with all the test cases and the third one like you can uh, like at least two to three test cases if you pass then it is really like you'll get a good score for this so these were the three programming questions that was asked so the first one it was like all the three were on related to arrays itself so divisor the first one was divisor queries then the second one the salary day so it's about two dimensional array and the third one arrays and queries so many of the in many of the like coding challenge the questions will be related to data structures and algorithms then arrays and strings so you can just prepare thoroughly and you can just give the test so the first question like it was on divisor queries so like uh, when given an array of array a and n numbers like uh, you need to answer the queries for the following type so these are the things they have mentioned so like some of the factors you need to consider while solving the problem and they have also given the functional description like each and everything like there are four different parameters like the input parameter as well as the output parameter so these are the four parameters n q a as well as queries where n it represents the length of the array and q means it dep uh, denotes the number of queries and a is an array means it denotes the length n which denotes an array a and then the queries it's it represents the two dimensional array so they have given the functional description everything and the input format like what is the input and they have explained each and everything the input format and what should be the output and also like they have given the explanation in detail how you need to solve the problem to achieve the output so sample input and sample output also they have given so like based on the explanation like you need to just write your own logic and then you need to achieve the outputs like you need to clear all the test cases so this was the first question and the second one was about salary day so this is also re regarding array itself like you need to use some data structures and algorithms to solve this problem so they have given the functional description like uh, they have given like four arguments and you just need to return the answer like the parameters they have mentioned n k pa parents and the salary order so what all it denotes they have mentioned so n it's it represents the number of family members k represents the total number of earning members like who are earning in the family and the parent array so it represents the array of parents and then salary order bits so it represents the earning num earning members of the family in order they receive the salary so the order of the salary like who has more salary less salary in that order so here also they have given the input format as well as the output format so like first line con like based on the whatever input sample is there so they have explained it in brief what is the first line like what's the second line and third line like what should be the output and everything in detail they have explained so the co like complete question and everything i have created the some uh, separate document for that so i'll upload it in the telegram group so you can just go through that and then you can just solve it and the third one also it's related to arrays only so arrays and queries so it's related to indexing of an array 
so same they have mentioned like there are four parameters and you need to return the array of integers so these are the f uh, four parameters like n means same number of elements in the array a represents the array size and q represents the number of queries so same they have given the input format as well as the output format so output format is that you need to print the single integer for each query of type so like ex in explanation they have mentioned it completely in detail like what you need to perform and what you need to do to achieve the output so you can go through that and then you can practice and like the similar type of questions may be asked for those who are taking the test in further days so the test is live so you can just refer this and then you can just practice accordingly so the questions uh, like the complete sample input output and everything complete screenshots i'll add it in the document and send it in the telegram group so you can just refer that and you can just practice thank you friends for watching and do subscribe our channel for more updates